Now, meteorologist Cameron Saliga and your Storm Team 2 forecast. Yeah, we've been talking about uh, some fog all through the morning hours in areas. It is very dense. We see visibility right now not too great in areas. Uh, Dayton under a mile, nearly a quarter of a mile there into Springfield. We do up north have some visibility of three miles there in Wapkaneta and Salina, but uh, take it easy on the roadways as you head out because uh, those visibilities not too great here as we go early on in the daytime. Hour by hour though, as we go through the day and into your afternoon, look at those temperatures getting up to the 50s yet again. The good thing today, we'll see some sunshine, but eventually we'll see those clouds move in as we go later into the afternoon and evening hours. We do have some wind alerts to let you know about. We do have a high wind watch for most of us here into the Miami Valley, and we are expecting wind gusts up to 60 miles per hour, and that's why we do have that high wind watch. You may be uh, getting your garbage can from the neighbor's yard if uh, tonight is your garbage night. Looking at wind gusts as we go through the day tomorrow, those winds upwards of 50, 60 miles per hour in terms of gusts. We'll have sustained winds upwards of 30 miles per hour. As we go through the next 10 days, those temps as we go into the weekend start to dip a bit as uh, we do have a cold front moving through, but it doesn't last forever because look at Sunday 47 and then we go into the work week, those temps back into the 50s. So I'm not quite sure uh, what uh, Phil was talking about because winter is not continuing here at least over the next 10 days. Live Doppler 2 HD, we are staying dry here in the Miami Valley. That will continue through much of your daytime. We'll have rain arrive though as we go into the evening hours. Temperatures right now 24 there in Bell Fountain. Temperatures further south right around 30 degrees into Oxford and Springboro. Feature track through the daytime we see on and off cloud cover, but eventually at around 3, 4 o'clock we see those clouds really starting to add on here and becoming mostly cloudy. Eventually we do see those clouds take over and shower chances arrive as we go into the evening hours as the sun does go down. That continues for much of your nighttime and then as we go into the morning hours for that work commute could be a little bit wet and windy. So uh, give yourself a little extra time tomorrow as well on the roadways. 52 for your high today. We do have early fog, partly cloudy skies, and then we get down to 43 tonight with those showers starting to roll through. Winds increasing through the nighttime and getting upwards of 30 miles per hour tomorrow, gusting to 60 at times. 61 your high though tomorrow. We do have those showers though, mainly in the morning time. Your seven day forecast, there's that 38. We do see some sunshine though going into the weekend and then back to the 50s early on next week. And